Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Miss Hino's Math. Today I have a math trick for you. I'll even leave you a link to actually print this out yourself or just to be able to see this. But it's a cool math trick where you guess a number and whoever's doing the trick knows what the number is just by doing a little bit of mathematics. Let's look at it. Hey everybody, this is Mr. Hino with Miss Hino's Math giving you an update on card sharks. If you don't know what in the world I'm talking about, check the link um, at the end of this video or in the description to the video I did kind of giving those of you that are stuck at home like me a challenge. So the game was card sharks. It's an online game and I kind of threw it out there for people to kind of have fun with this and let's challenge each other. So I'll actually keep this high score update rolling, which means if some of you guys can get on this leaderboard, I'll update it next week, okay? So here we go. At number one is Mr. Hino with 8,000, sorry, 81,792 points. The next one is JH with 81,202 points. And Bryce has the third and fourth spots with 80,424 points and 8,760 points. So Bryce, myself, and JH are challenging you guys to see if you guys can beat our score or get on the leaderboard. I, I had first mentioned that I thought we'd have 10. I don't know if you guys didn't watch the video, if you guys are scared, I don't know. But we're challenging you to play Card Sharks. Again, hit up the link in the description and email me your score. Just email it to math at gmail.com and I'll do an update next week to see if myself, JH, or Bryce are still in the same spot. Okay, back to the video. Okay, so like I said, I will leave the link to this paper in the description. But here's what they want you to do. They want you to pick a number between 1 and 30. So go ahead and pick up, a, think of a number between 1 and 30 right now. Okay, so for instance, let me go ahead and tell you what mine was. My number was 12, because that's my favorite number. So when you think of a number between 1 and 30, here's what you do. You look throughout all of the boxes to see which box your number appears in. Now to make this easier for the person doing the trick, it might be better to put an A, B, C, D, E on these boxes. So when the person tells you which box your number's in, it's easier to just tell them that. So let's go ahead and write it anyway. Okay. So we got boxes A, B, C, D, and E. That's better than saying, you know, yellow box and things like that. So here we go. If Mr. Hino's favorite number is 12, it's not in box A. It's not in box B. It is in box C. It is in box D. And it's not in box E. So basically, here's what the person would say. Hey, what num or which boxes is your favorite number in? So if Mr. Hino was the one answering this magic trick, I'd say, well, my number is in boxes C and D. And the trick would be for the person to go, okay, it's in boxes C and D. Your favorite number must be 12, which it is. Now, some of you would go, well, that's not very tricky because... There are several numbers where it's in both C and D. Because look, there's a 14 in C and D. There is a 28 in C and D. So Mr. Chino, you know, why is this so tricky? Here is what you do. If somebody tells you that their number is in a certain box, so for my case, if the magic number was 12, here's all you do. You just add up the upper left number. So if my favorite number was in boxes C and D, you just add eight plus four, you get 12, and that's how you know the person's magic number. So let's try another number just for fun. Let's just try the number 20. Are you guys ready? 20 is not in A, 20 is not in B, 
20 is in C. And it's in box E. So it's in boxes E and C. So again, all you have to do is add up the upper left number, 16 plus 4. Your magic number was 20. So that it's, it works by an algebraic, um, basically a formula that says every number can be made up of all of the upper left numbers. And basically it's just a combination then of adding up the numbers to get that magic number. So again, this is a really fun trick. In fact, if you want, call somebody over to your computer screen or your phone right now, have them do the trick and you'll be able to know what their magic number was if you follow the way to get it. Okay, so you can pause that right now if you want. But again, if you want to print this paper out, I, I've left you the link in the description. Okay? All right, guys. I'm Mr. Hino Math. I'll see you in the next video.